Hi, good morning everyone, it's Hannah from Limelight. It's a beautiful Sunday morning and uh, we are currently in Flintshire at a property that we sourced for um, a southern based investor and her vision was to find a property in the northwest that could be converted into a multi-let. So um, we've been really, really busy um, bringing this property up to a lettable standard and we're about to fill it with tenants in this coming week. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to take you on a very quick tour around the building and just show you what we've done. So uh, follow me. So this is room number one and it's quite bizarre because it's hard to imagine what the room was like when we first took over the property. The property had fallen into a really, really bad state of disrepair. It was very damp, it was very dirty, there were huge cobwebs in here. And um, we really have managed to transform it into a beautiful lettable room um, for somebody either you know already living or somebody coming to work in the area. Um, the landlord has actually chosen all the, the colours and the furniture and she's made some fantastic choices. Um, you know, we've tried to make sure that there's adequate storage space for each of the tenants with, you know, some wardrobe space, obviously standard chest of drawers. And um, it's always a big decision for investors as to whether to provide ensuite bathrooms because there is a, a, an added cost to the refurbishment. Um, and, and in this case, we have decided to put in seven ensuites and we've got a beautiful shower for each of the tenants to use. Obviously got their own sink. Um, we put some nice nice cabinets in to store their bits and pieces and kept the colours reasonably neutral. But it's a nice feature for someone to have. Um, just to avoid you know queues in the morning, waiting for a shower to go to work. So we're really pleased with that. I'll just take you through the rest of the property. As you can see, we've got a really long corridor and these, these properties are quite deceiving from the outside. You think, oh yeah, they're okay, they're reasonably sized. But once you come in, they just go on for miles. So I'll just take you down the corridor and I'll give you a, a quick look at room number three. This is a smaller room, of course. And obviously we've had to decide whether we're going to provide, you know, single bed or double bed. Um, in most cases we find that tenants prefer to have um, a double or even a three-quarter bed. It makes it more lettable. Um, so, you know, the tenants that have actually viewed this room are, are really happy with it. Even though it's a little bit smaller, again, we've put an ensuite bathroom in. Um, all very much the same throughout the property. Same tiles, same floor finishes. Um, same bathroom furniture, but um, it, it will it will serve a purpose. I'm just going to show you the kitchen now. Just follow me. You may have noticed that um, I'm in communal area now when I've not turned any lights on. That's because we put them all onto sensors because more often than not, with HMOs and multi-lets. Tenants don't control the lighting in communal areas. So as soon as you walk in here, the lights will come on and a few minutes after I've left, they will go off and the same applies to the kitchen. So um, here we are in the kitchen. Um, we went through so many different kitchen designs um, to try and get the, the best result really. But as you can see, we've got two hobs, um, we've got a, a large extractor fan. Um, we've also got integrated appliances, not so much with the, with the um, with dryer, but the washing machine is integrated, as is the dishwasher. And we've tried to choose really nice, bright, vibrant colours. And um, in addition, we also make sure that um, there's plenty of fridges and freezer space as well. And um, you know, the landlord wanted us to make sure that each of the tenants had their own cupboard space as well, so they can put their food in, which is fine. We tend to do that as a standard thing anyway. Um, in terms of fire safety in this property, we've gone for a mist system, which means that in the event of there being a fire, 
um, a spray of mist will come out from the ceiling, from this here. It's quite subtle, but there is a, a, a system behind that. Um, and if I just show you this, this, this pump in this cupboard here, you'll see where everything is, is um, connected from. With the mist system, it, it basically means that um, if there was a fire, the property won't be absolutely soaked by a, a huge sprinkler system. Just, it just helps protect your property. Okay, so I'm just going to take you upstairs now and I'll take you to the front of the property and show you room four. This is a beautiful room that we've created. And um, as you can see, the, the theme is fairly similar in terms of the grey and, and the yellow. Um, but it's a nice room at the front of the property um, that overlooks the D estuary. And um, the landlord's added some really nice finishing touches by making sure there's a, a nice bottle of Prosecco for the tenants when they arrive. And then there's a bathroom here. Um, we've still got a shower cubicle and the bathroom furniture, etc. And these doors here, um, this is actually the colour that they arrived in. Some landlords would have chosen to paint them white. But um, this particular investor wanted to keep them this colour and I think they add a really nice feature to the room because sometimes when, when you've got white walls um, it's nice to have a little bit of contrast and as you can see it does, it works really well in this room. In terms of um, heating and power and all of that we've got, um, well we've actually created um, a plant room really over the stairs with seven tenants, you know, they're going to get through quite a lot of water and um, we wanted to make sure that we had the right system in place to be able to manage that. Um, so we've got this tank here that will be heating all the water for everybody's shower and for the dishwasher and everything else. And um, these aren't noisy, we've got one of these in one of our other properties and they, they actually work very, very well. Obviously we want to make sure it's maintained. Um, but yeah, we're really pleased with that. That was a good solution. No one really knows it's there. Just going back to fire safety, uh, we had our local fire safety maintenance company in recently just to put our fire extinguishers in, our illuminated signs, etc. Um, and as you'll see throughout the building, we've got our great glass points as well. Okay, I'm just gonna show you one more room and we're gonna go into room seven at the back of the property. beautiful room. Um, it's bizarre because this actually used to be um, the old bathroom um, when the property was in a, in a poor state of disrepair and I remember walking through here because there was holes in the floorboards and there was water leaking and the tiles were falling off the walls so this is really quite a transformation. It's very quiet at the back of, of, of this property here. Um, we've also managed to fit in another ensuite, which is great. And um, these rooms are going to be occupied by males. You're probably thinking, ooh, are, going, are females or males going to be attracted to them? We, the landlord has always tried to make sure that the colours are, are neutral, so they suit a variety of different tastes. Um, and um, so far so good, we'll be moving people in Tuesday stroke Wednesday depending on how fast we can get them through the referencing process and um, they're really excited, really excited. So that's it really, I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Um, it's been quite a journey for us in terms of finding this property, talking about you know, what we're trying to achieve with the landlord and, and working with, with local contractors. Um, local suppliers to be able to bring this property back into use and we're really proud of it really proud of it and hopefully it will make a happy home for for seven people this coming week and um, if there's anything I can help you with or guide you on then please feel free to contact me it's Hannah at Limelight Letting and my number is 01352 218 210 I'll see you soon take care bye bye